What's up, Demystify Nation? This is Pat, back for another week of Tips for AI Trailblazers. Coming to you live from Houston. Not my drab Chicago office. I'm actually sitting in Kathleen's office right now. This is not a fake background behind me. But no matter where I'm at, we must press on. So this week, I had to experiment a little bit with creating infographics. Now, <laughs> having a data science past, this was usually a really big deal. And with my ad agency background um, and working for big companies, I always kind of had access to designers. Uh, believe it or not, I'm pretty good at math, but terrible at design. Just one of those things. Um, so this week I got into Canva and was messing around a little bit with their infographic features um, and thought it would be pretty cool to kind of demonstrate how you can do that. So why don't we get started? Okay. So sharing my screen now, there's a couple different ways you can do this. Canva has various infographic templates. They have a ton of templates. It's a great service, but naturally I want to use AI. So I have some just base, <laughs> really exciting bullets around cloud market growth and revenue. Um, you can, we'll input these in a second, um, but basically I want to be able to have Canva create an infographic for me just as I copy and paste in some bullets. So why don't we start? Um, if you go to the homepage, uh, you'll come to this, usually like a templates or your designs. Um, just hit the Canva AI button and we'll describe a little bit. I need you to create an infographic that will go into a social media campaign. Spelling's a little off. Let me correct that here. Please use below as the content for the info. This is something we're going to try and just share on our social media channel. So uh, why don't we give it that context too? The info graphic is meant as a marketing piece for my company's social media accounts. All right. So we've got a pretty simple prompt in there. I'm going to put in, I've got quite a few bullets. It's, it's, might be too much for uh, an infographic, but why don't we let AI decide? Uh, I actually built this manually this week. Uh, frankly, it was just faster. I knew exactly what I was looking for, but I wanted to test out this AI. So uh, I just submitted it. Uh, as you can see, we got quite a few bullets in there. It's it's a lot, but it's all numbers, all data. It's things I frankly would have given to a designer in the past and said, hey, can you please take these bullets and turn it into a nice, pretty infographic. So um, I'm a little curious to see what um, Canva's AI will come up with for us. We'll give it a moment here. Well, this is nice. So it's got a couple different layouts. Um, let's see here. Hyperscalers, revenue growth. I don't know. I had some better numbers in there than that. Uh, kind of plain. Well, I kind of like that. Some hands holding some stuff. And I can tell right away. It's it's kind of, it's definitely cherry picking um, just some of the stats in there, which again is fine. Why don't we hit more designs? I'm kind of curious to see what else it'll come up with. A couple more. This is pretty quick. Still kind of the, the same stuff. Looks like this, this has a little bit more of what we're looking for. Um, let's see what other prompts we can do. Why don't we pick, try this one to start. Why don't we try this with modern colors? Oh, it didn't do it. It's a little bit better. So let's see. So we've got just kind of a basic infographic. It looks like it's pretty easy to kind of change out the text. I'm going to throw it into the Canva editor. Let's see what we can see here. So honestly, as simple as that was, this isn't too bad. I know pre-AI, this obviously would have taken quite a bit um, to be able to get a lot of the stuff in. It looks like you can change out colors, kind of change the color palette really quickly. Um, this is also, I share this account with my wife as well. So I know she's got some different colors and designs in here. Um, but yeah, actually, that's really it. Um, <laughs> it went pretty quick. It looks like if we've got, um, you know, your bullets set up, this is pretty simple. Uh, I'm not too keen on this infographic, but again, like I've said, my design background is not the greatest. I'm curious to see if I prompt it. Can you add more uh, facts and data to the info? Graphic I have selected. I'm curious to see if it'll actually, 
you know, pick up more bullets that I had in there. I put in way too many, which is fine. Um, but I'm always curious to see how the AI reacts, how it edits and what decisions it makes. I do kind of miss the whole uh, not being able to see how it's thinking. I've got really addicted to that with Gemini and ChatGPT um, and some of the other systems that, that do it here. So um, it looks like it doesn't realize I selected this. I probably should have told it, but now I'm kind of curious to see what it spits out. So it looks like good variety. I actually really like this one. 100 mil workload successfully migrated. So it's definitely picking out some of the more high level stats that I had in there. Let's see if we hit more designs at this point, if that will pump out anything different than what we had just seen. Yeah, some slight variation. Uh, so this is a really good way. I think, especially for, honestly, for somebody like me, that's not really too design conscious, more thinking about math um, and charts and graphs specifically. Um, but it looks like Canva AI is a really good way where you can take just some quick bullets. It uh, looks like it'll take about five to six and create, frankly, just a really quick, quick and dirty infographic for you. I know you can edit these pretty quickly, but again, the beauty of AI being able to just copy and paste in a quick prompt and then add in all your bullets is really coming in handy. So uh, we'll keep it short this week. Uh, give Canva AI a try. Uh, there's a lot of other features and functions and hopefully all my data friends out there, you don't have to contact designers anymore to make your infographics. So uh, please like and share the video and tune in next week. We'll be back with more AI tips for trailblazers.